Well then, I should have expected that, but didn't. Son? Son, are you okay? There's been some sort of a accident. Are you hurt? Uh... Shay, you need to snap out of it. Hey guys, Cyclonic Flame here, and welcome to Broken Age. This is episode 7, and when we left off, I almost got stabbed by the knife that I am now carrying as Vela. I'm waking up as Shay now, and, um. Very interesting choice. I'm gonna go with. Huh? Huh? Our ship has crashed. Your mother's still inside. We need to get her out. My, My head. head. Just help me out of this sand, will you? Uh. The helpless the creatures. Helpless creatures. Who are you talking about? Never mind. I'll get myself out. Well then, I should have expected that, but didn't. Where did you, Where get, that did you get that body? You need to calm down, son. There's been an accident, and your mother is still trapped. My mother? But you're... You're not... She's really... Yes, she's really in there. And no, I'm not going to leave her behind. We're going to get your mom out of there. Poor... My... Mom? Shay looks so confused right now. I know we haven't seen you much in person lately. It's just that I've been busy outside the ship, or well, what I thought was a ship, in what I thought was space. We weren't actually in space? No, Shay, The point we is, weren't. your mom's still inside the thing, and she's not responding to my calls. Help me find a way to get back on board, will you? Sure. Dad? Um. Is that really our ship? Why does it look like a. A monster? I, I don't know. I'll figure it out after we get your mother. I mean. I guess I always knew my parents were people. It's just been a while since I thought of them that way. Good point. But that's a really weird situation, so, don't you think? We weren't actually in space. Where were we? Um, here, obviously. Let's talk to the mayor. Greetings. I am Shay of Laruna. Curious. If I wasn't traveling through space, then why are you speaking in an alien tongue? <laughs> Judging by your outfit, I assume you're the leader of this place? <laughs> I'd love to talk more, but I need to go help my parents right now. Poor oh, man. Um... Let's go up here. Wow. Looks like something really hot happened here. Looks like a volcano just freaking erupted. Jesus. Alright, what's going on here? What the... That outfit. Operation Dandelion. Okay, that are can't you, be... Are you... Me? From the future? Are you me from the past? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is amazing. I'm not sure the world is ready for two of us. Wait, is it? Yeah. Our parents would probably agree. One Shay is enough. No. Yeah. Wait, who's Shay? Okay, yep, we called are it. Shay. My name is Alex. I don't remember ever being called Shay. Called it. You didn't grow up on the Bassinostra? No, I grew up on the Malaruna. Oh, then we're not. Yeah, I guess not. That's awkward. That's a relief. Yeah. Wait, why is that a relief? Nothing. I, I just mean that... Nothing. Okay. That's so weird. So, why are you dressed so, like me? Why are you dressed like me? Were you also in Operation Dandelion? Yeah, in what I thought was a spaceship. But then, it crashed, and it wasn't in space. And there was this angry girl there, and my ship looked like a monster on the outside. You know, I remember the Malaruna looked a little funny after the crash, but I just thought it was deflated airbags and fire damage. 
Well, if I wasn't actually from space, that will make my trip back to Laruna a lot easier. Mm -hmm. If I can get this ship fixed. Um... My ship crashed on the beach. My ship crashed down on the beach. Didn't you see it? Oh, that was your ship. Um... Yeah? Why? <laughs> well, I might have actually shot it down. What? Why? Well, this girl, Vela, wanted to kill the monster, Mog Chothra. And I kind of owed her one. Mog Chothra. Uh, did you have a strange wolf on your ship? Did you have a strange wolf on your ship? Who told you to hack the controls? Weird. I did get hacking ideas like that, but I'm too embarrassed to say where they came from. Come on, tell me. Come on. Tell me where you got the idea to hack the ship. I... I started hallucinating that my cello was talking to me. It would well, walk then. around and talk and tell me to keep secrets from my mom. Did your cello have a name? Did your cello have a name? Well, he called himself Merrick. <gasps> but you know I just made that up. No, no, no. I, I had a Merrick too. He wanted us to rescue or capture girls. Those helpless creatures were, oh man. I'm kind of glad I never managed to rescue any now. Lucky you. Do you need any help? Do you need any help getting your ship running? Do I ever? Looters have taken some critical parts. Well, maybe we have some extra parts on my ship. It's just downstairs on the beach. Shay, our ship, it. Uh, c came to life and flew away, probably what? to Laruna on autopilot. Oh no! How is that? Is that me from the past? No, no Dad. <laughs> Alex. He was in Operation Dandelion years ago. Uh, Ray Volta. Pleasure to meet you. His ship crashed here too, and now he wants to go back to Laruna. Well, I'll be. We're inside a Diamond Age Dandelion Cruiser. Never seen one in person before. If we can get my ship running, you're welcome to come back with me and look for your ship in Laruna. Son, I think you've just found a way to catch up to your mother. I can whip up a batch of my special hull patching compound. Would that help? Sure would. I'll bet the undercarriage on this baby is shot. Leave it to me. I saw a tub with some good starter enzymes down on the beach. Yeah, so... That's my dad. Cool. <laughs> um, what else does your ship need to fly? So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm, haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet, and gotta replace my heavy duty anti gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Uh, who do you think's been looting your ship? Who do you think has been looting your ship? Actually, I suspect the guards outside. Something about their outfits. There aren't any guards out there. Walked off the job, eh? Man, 300 years ago, people were a lot more professional. I'll tell you what. Um... How are you going back? to get this ship back to Laruna? Well, if I can get my space conductor up and working again, he'll take me back to a previous destination, as long as I compose the right tune into his nav song. Nav song? You mean your nav scarf? <laughs> nav scarf? Was your mom really into knitting or something? Mine was all about music. Everything we did on my ship was about music. Just between you and me, I'm a little sick of the music thing. What's a superconductive gyro what's it cam? A superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. A small but critical part of the ship's controls. Here, I'll, I'll draw you a detailed schematic. Okay, I'll see if I can find one lying around. Um. What, about what the was it about your guards' outfits that made you suspicious? 
did they look like they were hiding loot underneath? No, it was the way they were made from the same material as my radiation shielding blast curtains. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, see you later. Okay. So I have to so find strange. quite a few things. But I feel like I've seen this pyramid before. And I don't just mean a minute ago, when I was walking in. I mean... Looking at oh, ship! It's really gone. That's weird. Oh, hey, little guy. Hey, hey. It's one of my Hexapal buddies. Doesn't look like he survived getting thrown off the ship. Poor guy. I'll take that with me. Uh, who are you? Oh, Hi. yeah, that's right. I'm Shay. I'm Carl. No, wait. Uh, Carol. You know what? Carol. My name is Carol. Nice to meet you, Carol. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Taking a break from the husband, the kids, and that darn cloud we live on. Trying to enjoy a little fishing here, but having some setbacks. Um, fish on biting. biting? No, some nitwit stole every hook in town. <laughs> Trying to twist this wire into a hook, but it's not working out. You lived on a cloud? You lived on a cloud? Yeah, but it's not as nice as it sounds. Trapped yeah, up in that fluffy, that. soft world, never able to leave or do anything real. I can relate, actually. <laughs> um, so you Did you wire. say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Oh, uh, good luck. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Or stay fishing beats the best day in a cloud cult. Okay, so it's obvious I need to get that wire, but in order to get that wire, I need. Lousy, sadistic. <laughs> Oops. Hi. I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans hasn't really worked out well for me. Um. Do all the trees talk? Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. I've never cut down a tree in my life. I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... Wait. What were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. I think. <laughs> Um, have you seen a mad looking girl have in a Have you seen dress? a mad looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, please don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she made me sick. Uh, why did she, why make, did you she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collected in a bucket. Oh, Curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. Um, I'm gonna make like a tree and split. <laughs> well, I gotta make like a tree and split. It's supposed to be a banana, but don't worry about it. Tree jokes are hard. Okay, fair enough. Any talking trees over here? No? Good. I can hear you. Okay. Um. This is this an interesting gold? smell? So unfamiliar. Is the snake gold? What oh. the? Oh wow! This is incredible. A real giant constrictor. I can't move my, my mouse. mother. Never would have allowed this. That must have been danger I was smelling. In case of snake blow horn. You're welcome. Wait, so what happens Here if it. I just leave? Sounds them? like someone's really afraid of hugs. What happens if Feel I just like leave this? Letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? Uh, wow. Oh, you really aren't kidding around, are you? You're actually trying to squeeze the life out of me, aren't you? I love it! What's the snake doing? So, is your plan to kill me, then eat me? Oh, amazing! Oh, that was a good one. Well, this has been fun, but... I, I had better be going soon. Okay, fun time's over, my scaly friend. I 
Oh, I hope you're not bending my friend spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I think the snake is. I remember is... reading on the ship's Cosmopedia that snakes hate loud noises. I don't want to have to resort to sonic violence, Mr. Huggy, but it's time to let go now. The snake's practically passed out, Shay. Uh, seriously, you better let go. I'm not kidding around, Mr. Huggy. I think it won't be much longer now. I hate to do this to you, big guy, but... Oh, so he magically comes back to life when... I've got stuff to do. No time for play right now. I feel like there was something I should have done there, so I'm just going to give that another shot. Alright, that was fast. Snake instantly passed out. <sighs> I guess that poor snake didn't realize how many hug attacks I've been through. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Mr. Huggy's all tuckered out. Don't want to leave him here where someone might step on him. Did I literally just pick up a snake? In case of snake, blow horn. You're welcome, Curtis. Sounds like someone's really afraid of hugs. Huh. Well, there. What's over this way? Warning, snake. Oh, it's just a cliff. Well, there. Oh. Great sign placement, guys. Where's the warning about the cliff? At the bottom? Probably. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Actually, hold on. If I take the snake back to the mid, do you think it would get rid of the pipe? Let's, let's give it a shot then, shall we? Alright. Alright, Mia. I'll give you a hand with my little snake buddy. Oh, hey, you had something caught in your throat. Oh, oh shit. Hey, knock that off, Mr. Huggy. Back to your tree. Mug! <laughs> Mug! Chatra! Struck down by the dead eye guard, only to rise again. This maiden's feast was a disaster. I'm never gonna be mayor now. <laughs> Is that the Excuse Ew, me? Oh. Yuck. Um feeling better? Feeling better? A little. But I won't know for sure until the polls come in tomorrow. Um Where'd Where did Mob Chopper go? go? I assume back home, beyond the gates of the plague dam. Uh... Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build anything. As long as it's made out of sand. I think sand is the perfect material for making spaceship parts. But yeah. can you make something this complicated? Please, do you realize to whom you are speaking? And that's why they call me Marshal Dew. That was fast. Thanks. No, thank you, son, for reminding me why I got into this business. I might look like a politician, but underneath it all, I'm just a guy who loves sand. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to pass that along to my speechwriter. Seems a good thing as yeah. Got a whistle and got a thing of sand. Well, can I talk to tree. the tree? Human. Um, I gotta make, make like a leaf and leave. <laughs> okay, kid. <laughs> Alright. Obviously talking to him's not gonna change anything. Let's go to Curtis. There we go. Sorry, wood shop is closed. No more stools. Come back late. Whoa. Never seen an outfit like that before. Where'd you get it? Uh space. Space. 
Uh-huh. Hey, I get it. You don't want to reveal your source. Have everybody biting your style next week. Biting my... It's cool. What? I got my own thing, so... Uh... Hi, my name's Shay. Curtis. <laughs> um... Do you think you can make me a radiation suit? I think suit? you could make me a radiation suit? Nah, I don't do soft goods. If you're looking for a good seamstress, though, I'd check out Mariloft. They do amazing stuff with feathers. Uh, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. Um... Have fun well, with the metal. Have fun with the metal. Later, Shader. I'm going to Mirrorloft, apparently. Phew. Now that was a ladder. Indeed it was. Whoa. Check out these crazy clouds. Well, I'm back up here again. Hi. Okay, for there, you're doing great. Okay. You built the new ladder. You got it attached, just like I asked. Now all you have to do is climb up here and rescue me. Brother Lightbeard, can you not climb down yourself? <laughs> I've told you a million times for there. I've been up here too long. My feet are weak. They're like little teacups. I dare not use them. Now please, for there, stop wasting time. I, uh, well, I can't, Brother Lightbeard. You know, I, I... No, 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 don't cry, whatever you do. I can't. <laughs> oh, poor oh, guy. Oh, brother. <laughs> um. Mind if I try your ladder? You will help me rescue Brother Lightbeard? I'll see what I can do. That's very light of you. Thank you. See? Nothing to be afraid of. Wait a second. What's happening? Darn it. He looked so light. <laughs> Help? A little farther for there. It's not me. <sighs> Heart of gold, but he never takes anything 100%, you know? Just like everything else in my life. Um, for there. Hello? Can you Can untie, untie the that bow on Harm Knee's cloud? Why would I do that? It's in the way of us saving him. Because it's in the way of us saving him. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, how do I untie it? Can you tell me what kind of knot it is? Um, yeah. The big old nasty looking kind. Thanks. Well then. Sounds mm. bad. Sounds bad. I'd better go find a knot expert for advice. Yeah, like a professional nautologist. That's actually a thing? I don't think so. Anyway, I'm going to have to end off the episode. Uh, by the just... way, please don't touch that ball. No reason. <laughs> oh, quiet. I'm going to have to end off the episode hanging around this ladder. If you guys are new to the channel hey, and, you like the... Up here. and you like the commentary, hit the like <laughs> and subscribe down below. Tell me what game you want me to do next. Uh, and by the I'll... way, please don't touch that bow. No reason. Quiet. I'm trying to do an outro here. If you guys are new to the channel, you like the commentary, hit the like and subscribe down below. Tell me what game. Tell me what game you want me to do next, and I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, by the way, please don't call my specialized hat. <laughs> <laughs> the annoying dog! The annoying dog, I do this gonna be.